This short presentation will highlight the differences between the model E825 and E876 HP copiers. Much of the assembly and installation of the model 825 is similar to the model 876. In this presentation, we will highlight only the differences. Behind the consumables door, notice that there are three tags that need to be removed. One from the toner cartridge area and two from the developer area. There is only a single developer roll to install. It is much larger than its counterparts in either the 876 or 778. Notice that there are two tabs that must be pulled up before the packing material can be removed from the developer roll. When installing the developer roll, make certain that the metal rail at the top of the roll lines up with this rail. The fuser roll itself will hit the bottom of the assembly here. Slide the developer roll into place, applying a bit of pressure until it snaps. Next, tighten this thumb screw and the developer roll will be locked into place. Slide the toner cartridge into this slot directly to the left of the developer roll. On the back of the toner cartridge there are two flags that must be removed. When the toner cartridge is installed, slide this arm until it is in the 12 o'clock position, straight up and down. Next, snap the waste toner cartridge into place, directly underneath the toner cartridge. With the consumables now properly installed, you can close the tray and continue your configuration of the Model 825.